Hello and welcome to the first video in a series of videos called Learning to Code with AutoHotKey. My name is Kyler Dalton. Uh, the purpose of these videos is to get started with AutoHotKey as a first programming language. So I'm going to be taking things rather slowly and uh, helping you to understand. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will help you as much as I possibly can. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to talk about what AutoHotKey is. I'm going to help you get it installed and give you a couple of pointers to start out. First thing you need to do is go to AutoHotKey.org or AutoHotKey.com and download AutoHockey. It's a simple download. You download it, you install it, and you have it. It even sets it sets you up with a good script to get started and says, hey, this is the script that you <laughs> use to get started. So it's really easy. You can use that script that they give you. You can rename it or whatever you want to do with that. So download it and let me know if you have any problems. The next thing you need to understand is that everything is on the website. Go to autohockey.com uh, and search for the, the documentation. What I usually do is just type in Google AHK space documentation or, you know, hotkeys or commands or whatever it is that you want to find. Everything is in here on the things that you can do. So go ahead and uh, go through that. There's even a quick start guide to help you kind of understand. Just search for a quick start guide and it will help you uh, get started there. So a lot of great documentation. They give you examples of scripts and the things that you can do. Um, in case I didn't mention, AutoHockey is uh, it's very versatile. It helps you do pretty much anything you do with your mouse or your keyboard on the PC. So if you can, you know, drag windows, click, do multiple loops, make it run programs, move windows, all that kind of stuff. It's a really good language because you can make a change and automatically within like a couple of keystrokes, fire it and see what the change did to your programming. So it's a really good first programming language. When I started out, it was really hard to tell which programming language I should start with because there were so many out there and I wasn't sure, you know, how to get it set up on a server and how to make it so it works and be able to view it, all this jazz. So AutoHotKey is super simple and I highly recommend it as a first programming language. So the next once you understand where the documentation is, you can get started using a text editor. The text editor that I recommend is Notepad++. One, it's free, and two, it's pretty versatile. It's pretty awesome when you start programming. There's lots of little tricks, and I will go through some of those tricks as we go along. So without further ado, uh, go ahead and get it installed and get everything set up uh, to where it's running, and we will start coding. Please subscribe, and we're just going to take it really easy, really nice and casual, uh, no pressure. So happy coding. See you in the next video.